Good afternoon. Welcome once again to my daily chat. This is episode number 568. And the topic today is if your relationship is based on gift wrap, you will lose. And I'll explain what that means shortly. It's in the Christmas spirit sort of thing. So before I jump into that, let me introduce myself so you know who I am and what I'm about. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert who helps strong, successful women, high-achieving women, find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion of the divine feminine. And every day around 5 p.m. Pacific time, usually, I do these talks called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Heart. And today we're on episode number 568, so it's been a couple of years worth. And again, the topic today is, if your relationship is based on gift wrap, you will lose. So you probably guess what I mean, but I'm going to explain it anyway, just in case you don't know what I mean. Um, and as usual, this was inspired by a conversation with a friend of mine um, yesterday, actually. And it was sitting with me going, yeah, that's an interesting place section. Because in LA especially, maybe other places too, both genders, it's not one side or the other, are often attached to appearance. And that's the gift wrap. And you go, like, oh, of course, yes. Well, same as when you get to Christmas and you get the unwrap the gift wrap. And sometimes the gift wrap's better than the present. <laughs> in relationship, that's bad news as well, to be honest. Because the thing is, well, let me back up a second. If you just want to look good with somebody else for a short period of time, go for it. That's the gift wrap syndrome. If you keep trading in partners and to, because the person you're with stops looking so beautiful and attractive and has all the accoutrements, accessories, and things like that, like the bow and the ribbon and all the other stuff you have on Christmas presents, like the car they had or the money they had or the looks they had or the curves or the shape or the outfit they wear, all these different things, if you're attached to that only, you're going to be trading in for new ones very frequently. If you're looking for a real relationship, and if you follow my broadcast, you probably are because you're the sort of person who I definitely encourage to look for a healthy relationship, you want to go something deeper than that. In fact, you want to, I suggest, be looking for a relationship that is what is valued on the inside as much as, if not more than, what's in the gift wrap. Um, one of my friends, Lisa Nichols, has a famous, a famous quote saying how oftentimes relationships are like gifts wrapped in sandpaper. That's one way of looking at it. But I'm talking about ignoring the, the, not so much, no, not ignoring, moving past the gift wrap to the content. Because relationships, for me, maybe not for you, but they are for me, a chance to go deep in connection, communion, communion and intimacy with a partner. And yes, it's nice to have wonderful sex and great connection and touch and, and shared space and all these different things as well. But all of those, to me, are the content of the present, not the gift wrap around it. And the challenge with some people's relationship choices is they haven't done any self-investigation. I'll say that again. They haven't done any self-investigation to actually go deep enough inside themselves to know who they really are. And when you don't know who you really are, it's really hard to make a choice about who you want to be with because you're looking for a place of, well, almost like a void. Truly, the relationship you have with yourself is a key component of the relationship you want to attract. I'm moving to another territory, but it's still in the same arena, I'm putting it that way at least. It is sometimes so tempting to look at the gift wrap packaging and ignore what's inside it. To go, okay, it looks pretty on the outside, that's good enough for me. And it comes to relationships. Ignoring what's on the inside can be the most painful, yes, painful, and um, disappointing experience you'll have in a relationship. Because by ignoring what's happening on the inside, it's very easy to ignore perhaps warning signs, red flags, danger signals, things that would be obvious if you actually took the moment to look inside to know the person you're actually interested in because they look so good carries a huge amount of baggage that you don't want to deal with. Maybe it's abuse or alcoholism or whatever it is, those sort of things. So, hi PJ, I'm live on Savvy Sisterhood as well. Thank you, I appreciate you putting me out there. That's very kind of you. Thank you, PJ. I'm, I feel honored. <laughs> so, and I hope, I hope what I said initially has already landed there as well. So this, this, this conversation around packaging gift wrap versus content and input is absolutely part of the key, the key thing for a relationship because, again, if you ignore what's on the inside, you're going to pay a price later on, almost guaranteed. Also, if you, pay a pri if you ignore the gift wrap, well, I'm going to say this way. If you ignore the gift wrap totally, I don't recommend that either 
because if you give, if you're not all the gift wrap on the outside, it doesn't really matter who you're with in a way, because it's, if you're just going for the inside alone. Now, I want to make sure you get that I'm not saying in any stretch of the imagination that you should not go for someone you're attracted to. In fact, that would be really not good advice on anybody's part. So definitely go for somebody you're attracted to, and at the same time, notice what's inside the packaging beyond the gift wrap, because what you're attracted to nine times out of ten is about at least 60% gift wrap and 40% content, because you won't know who they really are initially, it takes time. So as you get to know somebody, you'll discover more and more, because this is, happened to, this is actually I won't go there yet. I've had the experience of meeting somebody who up front was so attractive, the gift wrap was beautiful. This woman was attractive, she carried herself nice, she seemed smart, she was around the right locations. I was going, this is absolutely amazing. But as I got to know her, and you may have a reflection on this yourself, I discovered that the unresolved issues from past relationships, the wounds she was still carrying from a past boyfriend, the dysfunction from her family dynamics of growing up with her parents were so evident to me because she was in them. She wasn't owning them. She hadn't healed them. She hadn't transcended them. She was in them. It was very challenging to be with her as a friend rather than trying to coach and support. Now, if she'd become a client, I would have worked with her, but that would have removed any opportunity for a relationship because I have clear, let's be clear, I have a boundary about that. But the thing was, I know there are plenty of my clients who are women who experienced the same thing with the men they met, who had the presentation of being so conscious. But I was talking to, to a friend of mine today and how she had met this guy on, on, on a dating service and his profile was written so beautifully. It was such, it was all the things she was looking for he'd written on his profile. But when she messaged him, all she got back was like a like or a thumbs up on her questions to him. He never responded on, on Messenger inside the app. That to me is about the packaging. Because, just, and just a little secret by the way, you may not know this, but some people hire ghostwriters for their profiles on dating apps. Oh my God, you didn't know that? <laughs> I said it again, it's true. People actually hire ghostwriters. I'm sure there are actually people on Fiverr that offer it. You know, five of the app where you can pay like five bucks to get somebody done for you, where people will get other people to write their profiles for them. So not only are they posting pictures from 10, 20 years ago, but they're having their presentation written by somebody else. That's not really what you're looking for. That's a, that's a bait and switch, basically. And so that is gift wrap that isn't belonging to the same, isn't on the right package, if it makes sense. So this gift wrap versus package thing, I want, to, I want you to take this analogy to heart because it may just help you see more clearly the choices that you make in a relationship. When you choose a partner, and I'm saying this neutrally because it applies to both men and women, I suggest, I don't require, but I suggest that you look for somebody who is attractive to you, has a lot of the things you want physically in the environment and space and the way they live, but also when you talk to them, and ideally you can talk to them, you get to know who they are, that they actually are somebody who's on the path of growth, who's owning their stuff, who's responsibility for their actions, who is an equal partner, who's willing to step up and support you authentically and truthfully all the way through. I'm going to I may have put some pronouns in there. <laughs> but you get my point. If you are somebody who is um, challenged by a partial relationship, this might be a key that will help you. Because it's one of those temptations, and I say I live in Los Angeles, it's very evident here, maybe other places too, where we're so attached to how people look that the dating scene is infected by that too. So go with somebody who doesn't look the right way or doesn't have the right car or the right watch on or the right whatever it is, doesn't fit the criteria, they get dismissed right away. It might be the wrong way around. Maybe the people who are dressed to the nines and look perfect are the ones you want to avoid because they may be hiding all of their baggage by putting it in a nice gift wrap. Again, gift wrap versus content. Because if you're attached to the gift wrap, you're in trouble for a relationship. You will lose out. I think I made my point. Um, I will invite you to suggest, to consider for yourself. Sorry, I'm, I'm jumping to homework without telling you. I'm warning you now, giving you homework. Um, I invite you to look into your own life and your own life relationships. If you're in one now, or if you're dating, or if you have previous ones you want to look back at, and seeing where you have, in fact, um, chosen a relationship based on the gift wrap versus the content. No judgment, just simply to be aware of it. And if you are aware of it, what worked and what didn't work? Just so you know for yourself, because ideally when you reflect and actually take conscious perspective on your past relationships and you see what it was gift wrap versus content, 
you can see what worked, what didn't work, and then from now on you can change your paradigm. This is all for you to do this for yourself, so that's your homework. Um, if you want to go deeper on this, I do offer a discovery session, talk about this more. I'll put the link in the comments um, for afterwards. So if you want to talk about how you can actually get what you want in relationship the ideal way, and really work from the inside out for yourself and your partner, that's my speciality. So I'll put the link in the comments for that. This is a um, obviously a Christmas themed Facebook Live because it is about gift wrap because I've been seeing gift wrap everywhere the last few days because it's coming up on Christmas. So my wish for you um, is to start looking at the new year. I'll be talking about this more next week, but I want you to think about the new year, about what you want to attract, what you intend, what you want to have in your life, not just relationship, but in business, in life in general, because as I said at the beginning in my broadcast, my support for clients is to help, help strong successful women find balance in life, love, and business, because my focus is more integral with my clients. So I want you to think about that for yourself. What do you want to bring in for the new year? And I will tell you next week about resolutions that don't work. And I would talk about intentions that do work. So stay tuned. That'll be next week. Um, this, is, again, is my daily Facebook Live, 5 p.m. Pacific time usually. And it goes on to my YouTube channel and my podcast. I'll give you the links for the replays. Facebook Live, always on my personal, well, up until now, it's been on my personal page. I've got some new things brewing for the new year as well. I haven't got them in place yet, so I won't tell you about those yet. So personal page first. You can then get saved on my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author. And then I save them onto my YouTube channel, which is also my name, Barry Selby, which all my social media is my name. So go to Barry Selby on YouTube. You can subscribe to my channel and you can download, sorry, you can watch in Messages to the Masculine all my replays of this particular topic theme. So I've got tons of these, all 568 of them. And also I'm slowly loading up my podcast, which is on iTunes under Messages from the Masculine. You can subscribe to that as well. And listen to those whenever you want to, when you're traveling, doing other things where you can't look at the screen. This is my commitment to serve and inspire, and having done this now for a while, I've got some new ideas brewing for the new year. I might be putting together a membership thing for special talks and support, but that's a sneak peek of what I don't even have developed yet. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. If you want to find out more about that, you can reach out to me and send me messages. I'll, I'll respond what I know so far. Um, I think that's going to be it. So again, I'll put the link in the comments for a discovery session if you want to find out more about what I can do for you and how you want to get help. And I'll remind you again that gift wrap alone is not enough you want the whole package as I'm sure you realize now so with that I thank you for watching I will see you again tomorrow um, probably the same time maybe a little bit earlier this is the weekend I'm actually going to stay at a friend's place this weekend doing some other things so I don't have the lighting set up there so I might do it during the day when it's lighter so just stay tuned follow me on Facebook you might see the live one you might see the replay I do welcome the comments and feedback as well so please put any questions in below I'll respond when I sign off so with that I thank you for watching I'll see you again tomorrow